what to see, what to stream, and what to skip. It's Movie Reviews with Ryan J. And we are back with the nationally syndicated film critic and Oz historian, Ryan J. What's up, Ry? Hey guys, how's it going? Doing great, how are you? I'm great too, thanks. I love what we're looking at, starting with something Oz-like. So tell us about Lost in Oz, the TV series. Sure, Lost in Oz is an original animated series on Amazon Prime Video. The first two seasons are available now, and it's already won three Daytime Emmy Awards, including Outstanding Children's Animated Series. It's just a fantastic adventure series where a new generation Dorothy goes to Oz, discovers it, and all of the friendship and magic within. Cute. Okay, so how is it different than other animated series? It's totally different. You know how most cartoon or animated shows are each episode are, is its own like contained story? This is different. Yeah. This is more like Ozark or The Queen's Gambit. It's one story, so each episode ends and the next episode begins right where that ends. And it's one story across two seasons with every episode ending, each season ending with a great cliffhanger. It just keeps you going super binge-worthy. I love that. Is the animation good? It's incredible. It looks like a uh, kind of claymation. It's CGI animation, but it looks like special effects and claymation. So it's very original and cool to look at. Okay. So did you get to talk to someone or is there something you want to show us about this? Yeah, I did. I actually, you know, was so obsessed with the show and it's so great. And I want to so see what's coming up next with the next season. So I tracked down the creators and the executive producers. Take a look. We've got to get Dorothy and Toto out of there. Okay, what's her plan? How challenging was it to strike that appeal of an entertainment that's going to appeal to all ages? It was something that we really set out to do, and it was our goal to make something uh, that we would watch together with our kids and for, for families all over the world. We wanted something that wanted to make a show that inspired the youngest in the family and the oldest. So that was the idea. Give something that the kids who are being exposed to Oz for the very first time had something for them, but also wanted to have touch points for all those people that came in the generations before that are fans of the of the Oz stories. We are not in Kansas anymore. Oz is so iconic. The characters, the landscape. How do you create your own version to make it both familiar and new? What we always uh, strive to do was to use the the bomb cannon as the as the history of our show, as fodder for all of the invention and all of the um, the news stories, so that we were never precious with it, but rather using it to launch out of that cannon into a whole new story universe. You're a munchkin. I'm big for my age. What? When we created the show, we started with the question. What would happen if Dorothy went to Oz today? So how do we build upon that and make it something that's also relatable and fun for kids today? Where are we? I don't think we're in Oz anymore. Cute. Oh my gosh, Ryan, I can never get over the work, the detail that goes into animated films or, or a TV series like that. And these guys really know what they're doing. I mean, because they're true artists, but they've also paid attention. So anyone who grew up with Oz or read the L. Frank Baum books, there's so much in it to enjoy and so much new. It's really great. They're cool guys. Seasons one and two are now playing on Amazon Prime, so stream it. All right. Okay, the next one up is The White Tiger Rated R. This is Netflix. Yes, and this is a total epic and a different kind of adventure. On Netflix, it is like Gone with the Wind in a way in that it encompasses a whole story with all the highs and lows. It takes place in India, and it's about a boy who's a servant, and it's the lower caste system, and he has to break out of that with very full-life drama and eventually becoming a servant and then a master. Tell us about the cast in this. Sure. Well, it features newcomer Ardash Gurav, and he has such incredible range because when he's like young and innocent, you see him there as the driver. He has such empathy in his eyes, but as he becomes worried by the world and wise, he, he, he just his face changes and his demeanor changes, and he's an incredible actor. Newcomer, they could have gotten like a great Bollywood name, but they went for him. But we also have Priyanka Chopra Jonas, you know, Nick Jonas' wife, and so she's really good in this too. Love her. Okay, so... You say there's some politics in this film or what? 
it really showcases and puts a spotlight on how bad the caste system really is in India. You can't even dream of greater things. Like, you can be punished for even having a dream or a goal. The abuse of power and the manipulation of the less fortunate is so horrid, it's so hard to see, and I almost felt like we could see a parallel in some ways to some of the politics that happen here in light ways, and it just was really awesome. I loved this. I think it's stream it. Stream The White Tiger on Netflix. Stream it. Okay, right. and what's your thought real quick on Our Friend? Our friend is in theaters today, and I hate to be reductive, but it's a cancer movie, and I know you appreciate me telling you like it is. <laughs> I always like it when you do that. Thank you. It stars Casey Affleck and Dakota Johnson. She's a little weak in it. It starts super sad. It's about a mom and dad who are sitting their two young girls down to tell them that mom is going to die of cancer. And if you can imagine, from there, it gets even sadder. There's just incredible yeah. hardship and tragedy. And that even in the wannabe lighter moments, I couldn't even find the tone to even out or anything else. I'm like, look at it like this. If you want to do a Beaches movie, just go watch. If you want to do a cancer movie, go watch Beaches. You know what I mean? I'd say skip our friend. Oh, yeah. Oh, remember it's... My Girl? It reminds me of that. Yes. Yeah. But that was even better. I feel, I don't know, this year too, Rye, I feel like we need something a little more uplifting. Yeah, so, it's really bad too. time. Bad and, timing for this movie. And, and thank you, really, for being honest about that. I appreciate that rating. Great to see you and have a wonderful weekend. You too. Bye Thanks, guys. guys. Okay, and you can like Ryan J on Facebook, follow him on Instagram and Twitter for his full movie reviews. You got to check out his website. It's RyanJReviews.com.